Good morning, guys. Y'all know what time it is. No, you don't. Nope. Because you don't know what day it is. It's actually Saturday. I decided to wake up early this morning. I was feeling good. Feeling right. It is 7.15 right now. I'm about to head over to two estate sales. Huh. Both of them look like they're promising. There's only a few things in there that I saw that I like, but you never know what you're going to run into at a estate sale. If you're new to my channel, my name is Derek. I am the Fundamentals of Side Hustle. My man! I am a full-time reseller. And what reselling is, is you going out finding things to buy on the low, and then you come back and you flip it on the high. If that's something you're into and you want to follow my journey, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like and thumbs up button. You're already watching, go ahead and hit it. You can also hit that bell. And what that bell tells you is when I'm dropping that new hot fire video. Yes. So come on on this ride with me. We're about to get my stuff packed up for the post office, my sales from yesterday. We're gonna load up in the truck. We're gonna head over to these estate sales. Come on with me. And by the way, shout out to Marcus for this Guinness hat. Guinness is my favorite beer. I saw Marcus had it on his channel for sale. And before, before he can even post it, I hit him up. I was like, hey, I need that hat. My man got it packed up and shipped to me. So my thank man. you for the dope hat. Appreciate you. And that's Marcus from Sumo Thrift. Come on. How many items? But I'm gonna take two bags. Alright, guys, so I am walking to the States. So I have no idea where I'm parked 76 miles away, but I do know that when I got close to this, my legs were shot and I almost died. Matter of fact, my legs gave out and I tripped right about here. And I almost fell. So now we are waiting. So coming into here, you walk right into some clothing. Now I'm not really a clothes guy, but I do normally always look at the clothes. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Just kind of glaze over them and then I ran into a bunch of ties. Now this is a peanuts tie. And everyone knows Peanuts and Snoopy that always sells. They had so many ties and I literally was about to just dive into the box. And that's essentially what I ended up doing. After I decided to get these two, I'm going to head over to this box down here on the ground. And I am going to go to town. So for those of you who are new to reselling 
if you are reselling on eBay obviously or Amazon you can pull up the app and you can scan the items that has a barcode so that's what I'm doing this had a barcode I scanned it nothing came up so I went over to the sold pulled it and nothing came up so I'm just going to type in the name I think I typed in peanuts uh, peanuts tie and a bunch came up so then I went back into this big tote and just started diving all into these ties So you guys don't understand the sheer mass amounts of stuff that was at this particular location. I mean it's so massive. Uh, I didn't even get to videotape the last half of it because my camera cut off. But I just was in the front part of the cell. Um, I'm about to dig through this sporting goods stuff. Now I'm gonna pick up I'm gonna pick up a bat here in a second. I don't really deal in bats too much. I don't really know too much about them actually. But what you can always do is pull out that handy eBay app. There's always numbers on the bat unless it's old and it's worn off. But this is a pretty new bat. Uh, once I did look it up, the comps were okay. But not enough for me to say I want to get it. And that's my thought process. I just didn't want to deal with it. So back over here, I'm going to go on and fast forward this. I did find a lot of little small trinkets, a lot of new old stock items. And what that is, is just older items that are still new in the package and open. So I was just filling my bag up, just doing my thing, scanning them off, seeing, seeing what I thought was good. Came across quite a few good items in which you guys will see at the end of the video. So make sure y'all stay or y'all can fast forward to the end, uh, your choice, but I just kind of talk about everything that I picked up during this little trip. Now fast forward and save time, this video is still extra long, but there's just so much good stuff I just thought I would share. So we move over to this table here, this is where a lot of the games began. Now I have tons of games and puzzles at my house, house so don't look at the screen and be like, oh you should buy that. Well I didn't because I have tons at my house, but what I am going to do is tomorrow I'm going to go back and I'm going to see if they can offer me a deal, possibly uh, a dollar a piece for all the games if I tell them I will buy all the new games for a dollar a piece. Now this this would be a massive amount of games and it will take me a long time to get them posted. But I'm gonna offer it. If they take it, hey, more proud to me. I'm gonna come with boxes. I'm gonna come prepared. So we'll see about that. So I make my way around the table 
That's a full basketball goal in the rim right there. That if it would fit in my backyard and I had concrete, I would pick it up. But I didn't. So I'm just browsing. I try to go through every box if I can. There's just, once again, there's just so much stuff. I did come across this dope tie rack. Uh, it's brand new. It holds 70 some odd ties. And I did ask her how much it how much it was once I scanned this out. For the tie thing. Um, just five bucks. Okay. I'll do that. Can I sit this here? Yep. I have a bag, but uh, <laughs> that's what yeah. I know it'll get heavy. <laughs> Real fast. So I'm back at it again. I uh, start scanning. Now that I know they have a holding spot, I literally just took the took the training wheels off. I'm like, I'm about to just start buying. So I scanned this, this came up with good comps. Uh, I'm gonna drop that on the table. Since I don't have to hold it, I'm just gonna put it all over here. And I come back to it. Now, puzzles sell. Brand new puzzles. These are older puzzles and they're in the plastics they sell. They had, they had a lot of puzzles. I literally, I, I just had to, I had to come home and kind of see, take inventory and, and see where I can put these items if I do buy them. I do have a secondary storage, which I told you all about, but I would have to carve out some room in there to store all these puzzles and games if I do decide to get them this was a vintage uh, lifesaver maker it's old like from the early 2000s I think and uh, yeah I don't recommend anybody <laughs> I don't recommend anybody uh, try to make those because she probably would die. <laughs> I'm gonna sit this on the table. I did speed up the video again. Uh, I'm just trying to just show y'all my flow. This was a cool little uh, a little electronic flute in the package. I set it to the side. I'm gonna get those as well. I'm gonna sit those on the table. And she saw the series had a nice little stack there. And I'm just kind of working, working through stuff, trying to take it all in. I didn't want to spend all day here. So I just started skipping over stuff, just browsing. Getting to the end of this rack, there's this, I hope it's still there tomorrow, but there is this really cool uh, model right there. It's a metal model. They had it listed. I think they had like 40 bucks on there. Now 40 bucks, I could still buy it and make profit on that. But I want to go tomorrow and get a bunch of stuff and try to slide that in. Like, hey, can I get this as well? And see if she gives me a good deal on it. Once she sees that I'm going to buy a lot of stuff tomorrow. But the comps are pretty good on this. say they were like 65 70 dollars that as mentioned they were wanting 40 for it not too many people are going to grab that for 40 so i'm thinking it's going to be there tomorrow This one, I felt like it would never end. I, I just, 
felt like everything was closing in on me. I don't like being around a bunch of people. It gives me anxiety. And I was, uh, people started coming around. I started getting real fidgety and antsy. And I just wanted to leave and get away from there. This was a find of the day, at least for me. Uh, this was a, it's not the most expensive thing to sell, uh, but I thought it was the coolest thing. Um, that'd just be, so just buy for that. Okay, add it to my stack. She said five bucks. <laughs> Come on, man. You never knew I was about to have that. What? That was an electronic game, an uh, old school game, football game where you put those helmets on top of a little remote control car and you kind of just try to make it to the to the goal I mean yeah not the goal make it to the end zone I'm thinking about soccer all these puzzles So we flip around here. I'm kind of just taking this all in. I see that Mickey Mouse and I picked it up. We all know Mickey Mouse sells. I was looking, trying to look for the tag and you're on it. It didn't look too old. So I'm just kind of wrestling with the tag. I decided not to get it. What's happening, my folks? Look, let me tell y'all what happened. I'm having an issue with my GoPro. I go there, and y'all saw I started off hot. Straight your danger. It's state sale, and boom, it cut off on me. So I think it's time to upgrade the GoPro. Yep. And get one with longer battery life, because this is crazy. But we made it back to the house safe. What y'all didn't see, I made another lap around. I am going to go back there tomorrow. And My what man. I ended up spending at this location is $131. This place was massive. There's so much, so much to look at. I know I missed so much stuff. So I'm gonna go back tomorrow, dig through the stuff. There's not too many times you come across places like this. And when you do, you just gotta take your time and look through each and each and every single crack, crevice, whatever you wanna call it. What? Nook, cranny, yeah, all that. So tomorrow I'm going to go back. I'm going to try to bargain with them. I'm going to try to buy a lot of stuff tomorrow. I was avoiding buying a lot of puzzles and things and games because I have tons of them. But they have so many new games and puzzles. I think if I can bundle them all up together, they may sell them to me for a dollar each. Fingers crossed. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. But let me turn you around and show you what I got for a hundred. Like I said, I think it was $131, 32, somewhere around there. I want to show y'all what I got. And then y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think. Was it worth it? No. Nope. Be honest. Here we go. We're going to start from the left. So the first thing we're going to show you is this P-Touch label maker y'all know label maker sell there's no surprise but this is a whole set that's the cool thing about this it is everything in here then we got this puzzle the san francisco puzzle my light just went out in the garage so it got dark on me then we got another this is a game field central game i was kind of scanning every game and just picking up the ones that were worth quite a bit of money Sanctuary. I'm not gonna pop comps up on the screen because there's too many to go through. I got this saxophone toy, new in plastic, an old vintage saxy. This is what I'm excited about. This electronic football game so this is a football game you see it's old it has all the helmets these are actually you can put these on top of these cars here 
and it's a game that you play on this board that's underneath. This is a dope find. Remember, all this for $131 or $32. Got this here. I think my boy Marcus is gonna pick this up. This is an X1. This is a chart cooling station. It has a charging station on there as well. This is for your Xbox One X or I don't know, all that gang stuff. Got a little recorder here, cassette recorder. Found this buried under, well, y'all saw, it's so much stuff. This is a Nike Triax C3 watch, brand new in the wrapper. This is some pepper spray. Now, it may not have much value just because it's pepper spray, but Jackie Joyner Kersey is on the front of it. I'm a diehard, diehard track and field fan. I used to run track. Uh, I had to pick this up just for the vintage value of it. Got this mini scroll Belkin uh, mouse. This is a pedometer, another pedometer. Pick this thing up. This is pretty cool. You wind it up and uh, it makes music. Let me see. And then it spins around. That's pretty cool. I got this mouse and mouse pad from Jelly Belly. Got this King's Christmas ornament. This is it's probably expired and it is from 2006, but someone may still buy it just for the vintage value of it. It's a lifesaver gummy factory. You can make your own lifesaver gummies. I wouldn't recommend them do that. Nope. They may end up with cancer. No guarantee, but I'm pretty sure you will end up with cancer if you make this and you'll probably die. I don't want that on my watch. Please, if anyone buys this, don't don't make that. Just put it on your shelf for decoration. I don't want you to die and or grow a unicorn horn out your head because this stuff is expired. Don't huh. do it. Got this voice operated smart car. This diary of a wimpy's kid light. This Brewmaster uh, has like 100 ratings and reviews, and I think it'll tell you how to make different drinks. That's an old little vintage thing. Y'all know I had to get this model car right here. This is pretty cool. Uh, this is a visible human body, and it's made by uh, Lindbergh. They also make model cars, so that's a nice little kit. Got this vintage Sharper Engine rainbow pen. Still in the wrapper. Got a little Samsung uh, luggage lock, some ink. It's expired, but you know it still sells. Got a stopwatches. I got these prank balls, exploder, jet streamer, and this ball is, I guess you hit it and you don't know where the hell it's going. Got this Coca-Cola ashtray. Got these handheld poker games. These are Bluetooth little earbuds, little cheapies. This is cool. This is a Monopoly candle. Uh, you burn it and it has like coins in there. This is a burger eraser. Yeah, that's something cool just to have on your desk. Got this Washington Redskins football. Y'all know they're called Washington football team right now until they come up with a new name. So Washington Redskins stuff is hot right now. Got this Family Game Night Award. All new Ho Hollywood Monopoly game. Mad Gab. These are pretty dope. 50 year Charlie Brown Christmas uh, Christmas trees. Y'all haven't seen that? I, y'all, I don't know what rock y'all living under. Y'all know what those are. Brand new Sharper Image motorized tie rack. It holds 75 ties. Speaking of ties, I picked up a bunch of ties. Check them out. UCLA, you got the football, you got Chicago Bull. This one here is the, probably the best one. It's pure silk and it has Disney and Mickey Mouse on it. It's a bow tie and I, I want to say that's a cummerbund. Got another vintage tie here with all the basketball teams. Stanford Cardinals, Peanuts, Peanuts, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Oakland A's. I like this one because Santa Claus is lit. It looks like he just hit some uh, Molly or something like that. He's on drugs. Got this Looney Tunes, Marvin and Martian. That's my guy, my favorite character. I have him on my leg here. And I picked up these 
for y'all sneaker heads out there, y'all tell me about these shoes. These some Nike Airs. These are Air Force Ones. 82s. I don't know. I picked them up. Uh, Tyler, somebody, get at me. I'm not a sneaker head. But these look pretty clean. And it looks like they came out in 2005. So those ought to have some value. I got this Walt Disney bag here. That's my haul, $131 for all these. What do y'all think? Drop me a comment. I'm gonna go back tomorrow. I'm not gonna take any footage tomorrow. I just wanna be able to jump in there, zone in, try to bundle some stuff up. I may take a video on what I picked up. I may not, who knows? I do so much stuff that y'all don't see outside of the camera, but I wanted to share this because my boy Marcus is talking mess about me. Says I break everything when I go thrifting. Oh. Marcus, I did not break this. So I got a whole set. Well, Y'all can't really see it. This is a strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake uh, dish set. And it has like the cookie, not the cookie jar, the candy jar and everything. Uh, and that's it. That's all I picked up. Thank y'all for watching. I'll talk to y'all later.